Hi, it's Angry Admin here from AngrySysops.com and today I am going to talk to you about the new internet sensation which is ChatGPT. What is ChatGPT? It's the artificial intelligence which you can make a conversation with and so you can ask the question and it will follow up on that question and you have a conversation. And the Twitter is flooded with the with the chat GPT examples. Um, it reached 1 million users in just five days, uh, which is a great achievement. And it's a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, it cannot predict the weather, but it can tell you how to bake a bread or it can write a tweet. We, it can write a, the essays, but the main subject of today's video is a coding. People claiming that ChatGPT helped them to solve the coding issues or even create the codes for them and they are perfect. My experience with ChatGPT is a bit different. I am not a coder, uh, but I know a PowerShell a bit and I try to use ChatGPT to test against my script one liner and I will show you what happened. Let's let's see. Okay, so let's see how it looks like. Okay, it said that GP, it says that chat GTP is at capacity right now. And um, so let's try in a few moments. Okay, so let's try to log in uh, to chat GPT. Okay, I will use uh, I have a uh, Gmail account. Once we successfully logged in, let's ask some questions and see what response we are going to get. So, how to create VMware installation with two nodes with also HA enabled. And there you are. It's just like give you a step-by-step -step instructions um, which are pretty accurate. Oh well, let's um let's uh, wait until it's finished. What is nice as well, we can continue that uh, that thread and let's say, can you translate this instruction into Polish? And yes, it's translating as um, I'm from Poland, I know the Polish and I have to tell you that Grammarly is very good. Um, it has all the it has all the interpunction signs and it has a Polish letters and the grammar is 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 good. So I'm very positively surprised. Now is the time to test Chat GPT against my script, and we'll be using PowerShell. Let's do it. Hey, I am already connected to vCenter. Um, just to prove you that I am, I'll just do the get VM command. And there you are. That's all my VMs from all the clusters. So I am connected, okay? So now let's ask ChatGPT. Can you provide PowerShell script to list all the hosts in the vCenter and return name make and model. 
Can you provide PowerShell script to list all the hosts in vCenter and return name, make and model? Name, make and model. Let's have a look. And the script starts and it looks very fancy. As you can see, <coughs> we have a correct uh, command. We have a description of each command, but I can see already it will not work. Okay, what uh, we have here in this script above, you will need to replace the center with actual name of the center. Okay, so we can skip that part because I am connected to uh, to the center already. <coughs> so let's copy this part, and I will tell you it will not work. It will not work because of the dollar host variable. Why? Because that variable is reserved for the system. But, let, but let's have a look. Let's copy that to the uh, new sheet and let's play that. And as I said before, you can see cannot override variable host because it is read only or constant. That is reserved for the system. So let's go back to uh, chat GPT and let's say there is a issue with dollar host variable. And let's say, okay, he thinks it's a typo. So we have to show him it's not typo. So what we do now, we copy the error code. Okay. Yeah. And let's paste in there. Yeah, looks like you are trying to use variable host, which is read only variable. It's not me, you gave me that code. So let's see how the, the script will be updated. And you see, it's not kind of updated because uh, it still use a host and it will not work. The variable host is read only. Can you correct? the code please this is simple because we can like use anything else as you can see he can use vm host yes that's correct um so we, we just change variable however again it will not work and i will show you in a few seconds so let's copy that code. Let's go back here. Let's open a new sheet. And let's let's get rid of the connection because we have connection already. And let's play that. And as you can see, I received the name, but I didn't receive make and I didn't receive model. And the code itself, it looks complicated. It has a loop uh, for each, uh, which I think is not necessary for that task. Uh, the inventory task should be easy and straightforward, and I can tell you that it could be one-liner. Uh, furthermore, let's, let's, um, let's ask chat what he thinks about it. The code above Give us a name, but not not make a model. Can you can you correct it? Correct. I can't spell. Sorry. Correct. 
It's like I made a mistake in the script. That is what I found. Mm. Okay, interesting. It looks like there might be a mistake in the script that is preventing the maker model from being displayed. The variable host make and host model are being assigned value from the object, but the object does not have proper name. Yes, exactly. Okay, so what did what, what was that change? And again, he kind of recognized the issue. Let's have a look. So let's open this. And let's play. And again the same. And I can tell you that this is the problem. All the information we need are in the get vm host and now i will show you how the one liner looks like so it's get cluster get vm host select parent and uh, because i want to see the clusters name I want the host name and the model and let's play that and there you are parent I have a cluster I have a name and I have a model so as you can see this is VMware 7.1 because they are virtual machines uh, they are virtual hosts on running on my VMware workstation if you have a physical host you'll get like a Dell HP whatever it is um, so, comparing to that one, that was the wrong one, compared to that one. So let's, again, let's clear that. Let, let's run my code and now let's run the updated code from the chat GPT. That's, that gives me only the name, no make, no model. Uh, if you pay attention to the video, you will see that I cheat a bit because I didn't do make and model. I just did a model. Okay, what will happen if they make? Then we won't get the whole information. As you can see, make is empty. Okay, so am I as bad as a chat GPT? No. To find out if we can get make, we need to do something like this. If we do the get vm host and now we provide any host fqdn of an f host okay so let's provide this one and now we do the fl star thanks to that we can see what is available for us so let's see that so we can see that we can use any, any of those parameters. And as you can see, we have a model. We have a model, but we don't have a make. Instead, we have a manufacturer. And that's what we need to replace instead make. So if we copy that one, just not to misspell it and I put manufacturer over there look what will happen boom we have it if you have a, like a physical host you will get the cluster you will get the name you will get the model um, R750 and a manufacturer Dell or HP whatever the model is HP chat GPT didn't give us that information and he tried to pull make and model from hardware information, but that information, he went too deep. Um, you can use hardware system manufacturing information, but not in this case, like you already have those information in here. Um, so this was just unnecessary. And as you can see, it doesn't work. Let's play again. It doesn't work. I need a 12 line code 
instead of one liner. Okay, guys, I hope that was informative. Uh, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Also, let me know what you think about JAT GPT. Don't get me wrong, I like it. I love that tool. I like to play around, but don't trust it fully. It gives you the false information. Uh, <laughs> so if you have any feedback, reach out to me at Twitter. My handler is at AngrySysops. And see you in the next video. Bye.